Hey guys! Today we are going to go through a basic Vim tutorial together and for this we are using the Vim tutor which is already included in the Vim package. So let's jump over to the terminal. If you don't have Vim yet you can install it with pacman as Vim. I already have it and to start it we type Vim tutor enter. Okay, so first we need the, um, we press the J key to move downwards. So to move the cursor um, with H you move right, with J you move downwards, with K you move upwards and with L you move right. Okay, I think this is quite easy to understand so let's move on to the next um, session lesson. Before executing any of the steps below, read this entire lesson. Press the escape key to make sure you are in the normal mode. Type colon q exclamation mark. This exits the editor, discarding any changes you have made. So if you type colon q exclamation mark, you will exit the editor without saving the changes. And let's go back with Vim tutor. And with J, we go back to where we were before. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson. Deletion. Move the cursor to the line below marked the arrow. Okay. To fix the arrows, move the cursor until it is on top of the character to be deleted. So let's move to C. Press the X key to delete the unwanted character. Repeat steps 2 through or until the sentence is correct. Okay, I think you can do this on your own. Then let's jump to the next lesson. Let's continue with the text editing lesson. So move the cursor to the first line below marked arrow. We already did it. Then to make the first line the same as the second, move the cursor on top of the character before which the text is to be inserted. Did it on the G. Then Press I and type the necessary additions. So I want to add this. Then as each error is fixed, press escape to return to normal mode. Repeat steps 2 through 4 to correct the sentence. Okay, so we want also to add from this line. So we need to move further here. And then press I and then from this Oh, we've, I forgot the sum at the beginning, so let's move back here. Then I for insert and sum. Okay, when you're comfortable, move to the next lesson. Yes, I'm comfortable, so let's move on. Okay. Appending, press A to append text. Move the cursor to the line, yeah, that's can version, and we already know this. And it does not matter on what character the cursor is in that line. Press A and type in the necessary additions. A. Okay, this line. Okay, escape. Let's move on to the next lesson. Uh, editing a file. Save the file with changes and exit with colon exit with colon v q so this command saves and exits a file if you have quit wim tutor and step one reset the wim tutor okay so let's restart it <coughs> and move back to the lesson where we were insertion appending okay i'm not going to do editing a file you can do this yourself. We move on to the next lesson. So here we have a little summary of everything we learned. You can read through it at your PC. Then let's continue with lesson two, deletion commands. Okay, press escape to make sure you are in normal, in normal mode. Move the cursor to the line below marked arrow. 
Move the cursor to the beginning of a word that needs to be deleted. That are, there are some. A, A is false. Okay, type the V to make the word disappear. The letter D will appear on the last line of the screen as you type. Wim is waiting for you to type V, W. If you see another character, then D, you typed something wrong. Press escape and start over. Repeat th steps three and four until the sentence is correct and go to lesson two. Okay, let's move on. I'm not doing all of it. More deletion commands. Type D S, uh, no, type D dollar to delete the end of the line. Press escape to make sure you're in normal mode. Move the cursor to the line with the arrow again. Move the cursor to the end of the correct line after the first dot. Okay, so that means we need to go after twice. Type the dollar sign to delete the end of the line. Move on to lesson two, three. Okay, let's move on. Many commands that change text are made from an operator and a motion. The format for a delete command with the D delete operator is as follows, D and motion, where D is the delete operator and motion is what the operator will operate on. Okay, W until the start of the next word, excluding its first character, E to the end of the current word, including the last character, dollar sign to the end of the line, including the last character. Thus typing the E will delete from the cursor to the end of the word. Pressing just the motion will, while in normal mode, without an operator will move the cursor as specified. Okay, next lesson. Using a count for a motion. Typing a number before a motion repeats it that many times. Move the cursor to the start of a line below again. Okay. Um, type two. Oh, wait, I need to move it like this. Then type two V to move the cursor of two words forward. Type 3e to move the cursor to the end of the third word forward. Type 0 to move to the start of a line. Repeat steps 2 and 3 with different numbers. Okay, we, you can do this on your own and then move on to lesson 2, 5. Using a count to delete more. In the combination of the delete operator and the motion mentioned above, you insert a count before the motion to delete more. D number motion. Move the cursor to the first uppercase word in the line marked. Okay. Type D to W to delete the two uppercase words. D to W. Repeat steps one and two with a different count to delete the consecutive uppercase words with one command. Okay, you can do this also yourself. Let's move on. Operating on lines. Type DD to delete a whole line. Move the cursor to the second line in the phrase below. Type DD to delete the line. Now move to the fourth line. Type 2DD to delete two lines. Okay, let's move on. The undo command. Move the cursor to the line below again, yes. And place it on the first arrow. Type X to delete the first unwanted character. Now type U to undo the last command. This time fix all the errors on the line using the X command. Now type a capital U to return the line to its original state. Now type U a few times to undo the U and preceding commands. Now type Control R. 
a few times to redo the commands, undo the undos. Okay. These are very useful. These are very useful commands. Move on. Okay, we're gonna move on. And here we have again the summary of the lesson. Okay, next the put command. Move the cursor to the first line below marked arrow. Type dd to delete the line and store it in a register. Move the cursor to the C line. Above where the deleted line should go. So P. Okay. Repeat steps two through four to put all the lines in correct order. Right. Let's move on. The replace command. Type Rx to replace a character at the cursor with X. Move the cursor to the first line again. Move the cursor so that it is on top of the first error. This is this one. Type R and then the character which should be there. Repeat steps two and three until the first line is equal to the second one. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this because of speed. Let's move on. The change operator. Move the cursor again. Da, da, da. Place the cursor on the U in loop. Type CE and the correct word in this type. In this case, ein. Press escape and move to the next character that needs to be changed. And repeat steps three and four until the first sentence is the same as the second. Right. Let's move on to the next lesson. Uh, the change operator works in the same way as delete. The format is C number motion. The motions are the same, such as W word and dollar end of line. Move the cursor to the first line. And go back. So move the cursor to the first error. Type C dollar sign. And type the rest of the line like the second and press escape to be corrected using the c dollar command okay let's move on that's the summary cursor location and file status read the entire lesson before executing hold down this control key and press g we call this control g Message will appear at the bottom of the page with the file name and the position of the, in the file. Remember the line number for step three. Okay, press G to move to the top bottom of the file and type GG to move to the start of the file. Type the number of the line you were on and then G. This will return you to the line you were on when you first press Ctrl G. If you feel confident to do this, execute steps one, two, three. Okay. Control G. So we see that we are here at line 503. Okay, next we press G to get to the bottom of the file and GG to get to the start of the file. And to go back where we were, we type 503 and G and then we are back where we were. Type the number of the line you were on and then G. This will return you to the line. That's it. Next one, search command. In normal mode, type the slash character. Notice that it and the cursor appear at the bottom of the screen. Now type error. Error and enter. This is the word you want to search for. To search for the same phrase again, simply type N. And in the, to search in the opposite direction, we need to type uppercase N. To search for a phrase in the backwards direction, use the question mark instead of the slash. To go back to where you came from, 
press control zero, repeat to go back further, control I goes forward. Okay, let's move on with the next lesson. That's a really useful one. Matching parent thesis search. Place the cursor on any bracket in the line below. Oops, so like this. The cursor will move. Yeah, now type the percentage character. The cursor will move to the matching parent thesis or bracket. I really like this command because so many times I was when I had some code and there were like hundreds of brackets and I, I, it was really hard to find the matching bracket. So I think that's really useful command. Uh, the, the type to move the cursor to the other matching bracket. So it jumps between them. Okay. Move the cursor to another bracket and see what percentage does. Okay, let's move on. The substitute command. Move the cursor to the line again. Type. Okay, let's type this. Note that this command only changes the first occurrence of v in the line. Ah, so it replaces the v we had at the start with the now type. This. Adding the G flag means to substitute globally in the line, change all occurrences of the Z in the line. Uh, here in at 4 there are some more options described. So yeah, you can read through them yourself. Righty, how to execute an external command. Type the familiar command clone to set the cursor at the bottom of the screen. This allows you to enter a command line command. Now type the exclamation character. This allows you to execute any external shell command. As an example, ls, following the exclamation command enter, press enter or type a command to continue. Uh, da, da, da. As an example, type ls following the exclamation mark and then hit enter. This will show you a listing of your directory, just as if you were at the shell prompt. Or use exclamation mark directory if ls doesn't work. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> okay, writing files. Type Cologne exclamation mark dear or cologne exclamation mark ls to get a listing of your directory. Choose a file name that does not exist yet, such as test. Okay, so if you want to save this file, you type cologne v and then like test. And then we can check if the new file is there. Whoops. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay, moving on. Selecting text to write. To save part of the file, type vmotion. Okay. Move the cursor to this line. Then V and motion means like moving down, for example. Okay, press V and move the cursor to the fifth item below. Press the cologne character at the bottom of the screen. Da, 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 type W test, but you already have it, so I'm name it different. And then you can write it. Okay. Uh, okay, now so we save the selection to this file. Let, let's move on to the next lesson. Retrieving and merging files. Place the cursor just above this line. 
you now retrieve your test file using the command cologne r but i named it differently like this um, where test is a name uh, the file you retrieve is placed below the current line okay now we inserted it okay summary next lesson the open command okay move the cursor to the first line below marked thing okay type the lowercase letter o to open a line below the cursor and place you insert mode now type some te text and press escape to exit insert mode to open up a line above the cursor simply type a capital o rather than a lowercase o so oh escape <laughs> open up a line below yeah next lesson the append command move to the cursor to the start of the first line okay press e until the cursor is on the end of the le Type an A to a pen text after the cursor. Complete the word like the line below it. Okay. Press escape to in exit insert mode. Use E to move to the next incomplete word and repeat steps three and four. Well, yeah, you can do this alone. Let's move on. Six three. Another way to is place. Type a capital R to replace more than one character. Move the cursor to the first line below marked this. Okay. Move the cursor to the beginning of the first x, x, x. Do, 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 do. Now press R and type the number below it in the second line so that it replaces the x, x, x. Press escape to leave replace mode. Notice that the rest of the line remains unmodified. Repeat the steps to replace the remaining xxx. Yeah. Let's move on. Copy and paste text. Move to the line below, marked da, da, da. and place the cursor after A. Start visual mode with B and move the cursor just before first. Uh, type Y to yank, copy the highlighted text, move the cursor to the end of the next line. J dollar sign. Type P to put paste the text. Then type a second. A second and escape. Use visual mode to select item. Okay. No, erst of item. First we go to item, then we go to visual mode and then select this word. Yank it with Y, move it to the end of the next line with J dollar sign and put the text there with P. Right, did it. Let's move on to the next lesson. Set option. Search for ignore by entering slash ignore. Enter. Repeat several times by pressing N. Set the IC ignore case option by entering set IC. Now search for ignore by pressing N. Notice that ignore and ignore are now also found. Set the HL search and ink search options. Colon set yes, yes. Now type the search command again and see what happens. Ignore. Okay, and to disable ignoring case, enter. You write colon set 
N O I C. Let's move on to the next one. That was it with lesson six, and now we move to the last lesson. Getting help. Okay, type. Yeah, there are different ways, but for example, you can type clone help enter, and then you have a help file. Okay, and so close this window, use clone quit, enter. Okay, yeah, this is about getting help, so let's move on to the next lesson. Create a startup script. Wim has, more, Wim has many more features than Wii, but most of them are disabled by default. To start using more features, you have to create a WimRC file. Okay, I'm not going to go through this. Let's move on. Completion. Make sure Wim is not in compatible mode. Set no CP. Okay, set no CP. Look what files exist in the directory. Clone ls. Type the start of a command, colon E, press control D, and win. Okay. Ah, okay. Press colon E and then press colon D, and Wim will show a list of commands that start with E. Okay, type D tab, and Wim will complete the command to edit. Uh, now add a space and the start of an existing file name, colon edit file name, press tab. Will, Wim will complete the name if it is unique. Okay, let's change this to edit and then, yeah, okay. Okay, right. Next, that's the summary. Yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. I recommend that you go through it yourself as well. When you have learned the Wim commands and like them, you can also use them in VS Code. There is an extension for this for VS Code. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!